I'm pleased to be with you again for my monthly update. And uh, today I want to talk with you about a conference that I've helped organize that will occur here in New York City. It's now referred to as the Triad Conference in that it involves LIRA, the National Annual LIRA Meeting will take place alongside the ILIRA World Congress. ILIRA holds a World Congress every three years. It's the responsibility of the uh, president of ILIRA at the end of their term to organize the World Congress. I'm finishing my three-year term in that role. And uh, along with folks from LIRA, We've also uh, joined with the Federal Mediation Conciliation Service, Javier Ramirez, uh, the uh, acting director of FMCS, uh, had the bright idea to uh, coordinate the um, every other year labor management conference that FMCS has been holding uh, with the LIRA National Meeting and the ILIRA World Congress. Uh, it'll be held, this meeting, the Triad Conference, will be held in New York City, as I said, at the Midtown Hilton Hotel, uh, starting on June 26th and going on uh, until the following uh, Sunday. Um, now, that's a rather large meeting. We usually have these separate meetings, and we think by joining together, we can have a broader, deeper program, and also we can have more exchange between uh People like myself, who are primarily uh, academics and, and play an academic role in our field with people who are primarily practitioners. And also by having IDLIRA involved, we can uh, have more international representation uh, uh, participating in the conference, both academics, but also practitioners from around the globe. Uh, the program's now all set for the triad. You can see the program and also register for the conference. Uh, by following uh, the LIRA website about the triad. The LIRA is administering the conference. Um, and uh, you can re uh, register. You're welcome to attend any and all of the conference, whether you're interested in particular in the sessions that the FMCS is organizing or the LIRA or ILIRA sessions. You're welcome to attend any and all of the conference. I mentioned that this conference because a, a key... A part of the conference uh, is focusing on conflict resolution uh, issues, and in particular, the first day and a half, Wednesday through uh, midday Thursday, is primarily a set of sessions involving issues around uh, dispute resolution, and many of those sessions are organized by the FMCS. Just as an example, Wednesday morning starts with a study group meeting of the dispute resolution group coordinated by Dick Fincher. Dick's brought together uh, neutrals from uh, several countries to talk about how their work is evolving. Um, in addition, later that morning, I'm involved with a number of other academics uh, in a study I've mentioned in one of my previous uh, talks like this, where we looked at the changing role of the public agencies involved in conflict resolution in six English-speaking countries. Uh, later in the afternoon on that Wednesday, the 26th of June, uh, there's a session involving some lead neutrals uh, from the United States talking about the need for and some efforts to uh, have a next generation of neutrals entering our field. Um, there's other sessions that you might find of interest that continue on Wednesday. There's uh, sessions uh, involving discussions about how the practice of conflict resolution is involving issues about bringing new people into the field, and also discussion of some of the differences that exist across uh, countries. Just a little bit more detail. Um, later in the day on that Wednesday, there's a Meet the Neutral session uh, organized by Homer LaRue and Katie Simpson. And there they have a number of experienced neutrals uh, meeting with uh, individuals who are just entering the profession or who aspire to enter the profession. And there'll be a reception in the Grand Ballroom of the High, of the Hilton, I should say, the Grand Ballroom of the Hilton, uh, where if you're uh, uh, one of those uh, new neutrals, you can interact with other people like yourself who are entering the profession, but also with some experienced uh, neutrals. Um, then there's other sessions occurring 
uh, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, on to the midday Sunday that deal uh, with conflict resolution issues. Some of the sessions uh, deal with other labor relations topics, uh, topics even in including some discussion of labor policy and, and, and labor market developments. We have some really nice keynote speakers. The current acting secretary of labor will be uh, joining us, the uh, general counsel of the National Labor Relations Board, uh, both of those uh, women will uh, be uh, speaking at plenary sessions uh, held during the conference. Uh, and then there's a variety of other sessions. I could go on and on, but really to get the full flavor for the meeting, I, I encourage you to look at the program. It's now uh, described in detail, again, on that website that's managed by uh, Lyra. So I, I hope to see you there in, in late June. Um, I think it's going to be an interesting uh, meeting. There's all sorts of developments occurring in our field uh, that we can address both from an academic uh, perspective, but also from the viewpoint of experienced uh, practitioners. So I look forward to seeing you in New York City in late June. Take care.